I'm sure you remember that I said this was a bad idea quite a while ago. I still think it's a bad idea, and particularly applied to people who don't make policy. And so um, I have been among those trying to convince Senator Tuberville to uh, express his opposition some other way by people who actually make policy as opposed to uh, our military heroes who are sworn to stay out of politics. I'm all for the military, and we're in a tough time right now because our military is struggling to actually put a put put a group together, whether it's Army, Navy, Air Force. Uh, I don't work for Senator McConnell. You know, I like him fine. I work for the people of Alabama and the taxpayers of this country. Uh, I thought we're pro-life. I am. Well, uh, first of all, the people in Alabama are against you, Coach. There's what you're doing. Military bases there. It's really stupid. The people of Alabama have long been big supporters of the United States military. I know because when I was in Congress, I spent a lot of time going around to Alabama bases. I went to school in Alabama, and I can tell you, they think what you're doing is bad for the military and bad for America. So don't hide behind the people of Alabama because they disagree with you, gutting the readiness of the United States military and leaving the Marine Corps without a commandant for the first time in 150 years. And families on hold at military bases across the country, All over. not knowing what's next, not knowing if they should, how do they move, where do they go, what do they do as they wait? You know, wait, when I, wait. When I, when I first got into Congress and I, I, I was a, a young guy, I'd go over to the military, I'd go over to the Pentagon, and the leaders there, the generals and admirals, really, they tell me, they say, you know, you're going to hear a lot about readiness. You hear a lot about readiness in, you know, in, in, in what military weapons we have, what kind of training we're doing. Understand, readiness starts with a military member's family. Are they being taken care of? Do they have good housing? Do they have good health care? Are the kids going to good schools? Because if they're not, they're not going to be able to focus on job one, which is defending America. If, if they can't take care of their own kids and their spouses and their families, they're not going to be able to take care of this country. And that was hammered into my home, I mean, into my head, whether it's about the housing mm -hmm. or the health care or the schools. Here, what Tommy Tuberville is doing is gutting all of that. He's making sure that spouses that got job offers in other cities where the bases, the transfers were supposed to go to, or the kids that were going to be starting in new schools that they made arrangements for, that none of that happens. That all of these families are put on hold. They're in suspended animation. That is a weight on the families, that is a weight on the children, that is a weight on the spouses, so that is a weight enough. on the military member who wants to defend this country. And Tommy Tuberville is getting in the way of that, and the good people of Alabama understand that a hell of a lot better than their rookie senator does. And a reminder why he's doing this, holding up the military readiness of the United States of America because he doesn't want a service member to be able to travel across state lines, go to a different state to get an abortion or to get female uh, health care. It's, it's really staggering, too, to listen to him in that clip complaining about our military readiness. We're not, we're not ready at the top. It's like the arsonist standing in front of the fire he set going, somebody's got to do something about this. This yeah, place is on fire. fire. We know. We you know, lit you the fire. It. Uh, it's hard enough to be a military family. And he has found it, a yeah. way to make it much harder. Yeah. Uh, Senator Tommy Tuberville has held up hundreds of military promotions over the Pentagon's abortion policy. And he moved to force a vote to confirm the Marines second in command. Just one guy, General Eric Smith, after the top officer was hospitalized on Sunday. Yesterday, the Alabama senator secured at least 16 signatures. So the Senate will consider the nomination of Lieutenant General Christopher Mahoney to be the Marine Corps' assistant commandant. Tuberville said Smith's unexpected health issues caused him to reconsider this one specific particular hold. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer vowed to not only bring up Mahoney's nomination, but also 
two other high-level military officers this week. Since his confirmation in September, Smith said in recent weeks the hours he was working were not a sustainable thing. Here's what he said last Friday about his workload. The workload remains the same. There's still the two full-time jobs uh, filled by one person. Uh, so that hasn't changed. I mean, I, I, mean, I moved houses, but uh, I am still doing both of those jobs um, and, and using my staff as best I can to fill in where the assistant commandant would normally be full-time, because I simply can't be in two places at once. Senate Armed Services Chairman Jack Reed said Smith's medical emergency underscored the fallacy and danger of Tuberville's holdout, adding that Smith doing two jobs at once may have contributed to his condition. So he, ho he holds up the situation where they don't have a commandant for the first time in 150 years. Then Second they get doing this. Two jobs. They get this. He's doing two jobs. He gets sick. And, and yeah, it's just, again, th and this is happening across the entire military and Tuberville's stupid uh, explanation where well, we have too many people at the top it, it's it's just the stupidity uh, and and it's and it's of course dangerous uh, but then why would his fellow Republicans go in there I, I mean do they want know. to keep this right to do know. a ridiculous hold themselves what is you, the you, deal you just see you just see a hatred for the military by a lot of people in 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 the Republican Party you you see how they 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 treated the chairman of the Joint Chiefs uh, you 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 see how anybody that doesn't support Trump you it's see how they're the trying Republican to politicize you know. oh by the way there's another thing that that the admirals and the generals told me said keep your social issues out of our funding mm -hmm. keep your social issues out of our readiness yeah like do that in other committees let us protect the country Correct. and and that's 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 a test that Tommy Tuberville's failing as well let's bring